I learned about this. I learned, you know, we learned about this in school and stuff like this. But here's a story that the same teacher that I had that flew from Vancouver to Japan to be in an earthquake. Here's what he told us. He was studying at university in the 1960s. He said he was sitting in uh, his class, right? He was sitting in his class at university and the professor came in and said, okay, everyone's got their textbooks. He goes, goes, yeah, everyone pulled out. He goes, pull out your textbook. He goes, okay, pull out the textbook. This is in the 1960s, right? And he goes, okay, go, go to chapter whatever, five, and all the way to chapter seven. And everyone went chapter five to chapter seven. Right? And he goes, tear them out. They're like, what? He goes, tear that those pages out. Tear them out. Everyone's like, what? What do you mean? Why tear them out? This is this is what happened in the 1960s, right? So when when certain so-called scientists, so certain people, um, this is by the way, uh, vitamins uh, the, the thing in there. Certain people come and say, Rod Rodriguez one. Thank you very much for the follow. -up. When certain people right uh low iq people some of them scientists come out and say the science is settled the science is never settled never settled right so this professor came in in 1960s to my teacher in the 1980s right 20 years later he was teaching this stuff came in and said tear those pages out and this is the reason right because during world war ii okay I believe it was American submarines when they were transversing the Atlantic, when they were going across the Atlantic, I'm pretty sure other countries did this as well. They used to carry uh, uh, sort of metal detectors, magnetometers, right? In the submarines, right? And when they were trans, when they were going across the ocean floor or a little bit above it, they were measuring magnetism because they're looking for things right maybe other submarines right? <laughs> bad ones or good ones or allies or whatever so all of a sudden they were mapping out the atlantic going back and forward right because the war is here and submarines are here so americans were doing this a lot right a lot of submarines wee, 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 wee. they were creating all this data right and what happens back then anyway uh, there was a 25-year no releasing of information, okay, gag order on anything related to the war uh, in the United States. That's what the rules said, right? I'm going by memory, gang, so look into all this stuff, right? So there was 25 years of silence, everything top secret, nothing being released, right? So 1960s, right, mid-1960s, go back 25 years you're in 1940 right 1940 1945 right around that period all of a sudden all this data came available right so if you're an earth scientist geologist geophysicist geophysicist would have looked at this like drooling right they looked at all this data and went oh my gosh right we make this friendly child friend oh my gosh the earth's magnetic field flips why is it flipping oh my gosh all those people that said hey wow look at the coincidence the coincidences africa sort of fits nicely as a puzzle with america right well, i wonder what and then there's other places that sort of fit well together wow what coincidences right in the 1960s, they found out, oh, wow, there's something called the Mid-Atlantic Trade. Plate tectonics came into existence, the theory of it, right? And magnetic Earth's magnetic field flipping. Link that up with paleontology. You get major extinction events when Earth's magnetic field flips. You understand earthquakes better. You, all of a sudden, the door was opened, right? Wow, we learned so much about the Earth just because, just because of the data that was released right that was collected during world war ii by let's say the allies right and once that information was released our whole understanding of planet earth completely shifted brilliant right brilliant right 
phenomenal, phenomenal. 